Hi guys, um, Roxana here with Soil and Margaritas. Welcome to my channel. Today I just want to talk to you about this spot in my garden where I decided to make a privacy fence um, using hydrangeas. The area right here that you see is uh, under construction. This house is a uh, major fixer upper for us. We're actually living in it as we fix it. So having kids, um, having jobs, trying to make this work has been quite a challenge but regardless the area here is in full sun not really windy since you can see a little bit of my neighbor's home which is also being remodeled by the way so if you're thinking about making a hydrangea hedge for your garden this is the video for you and you guys i am not a professional everything that i do is basically hit and miss i watch a lot of youtube videos as well from other professional gardeners who have done this many many times and I just get tips from them so it works really well for me. Now the hydrangea that I'm going to be using here is um, only one variety. It is the limelight. It's classic white pinnacle hydrangea. Um, I just love the blooms. They don't actually stay green for the longest time. They turn into this creamy of white color and it's just amazing I just just really love this kind the plants that I purchased when I decided to make this were already big to start with I didn't want to have to wait years before these um, hydrangeas were tall enough for me to give me that privacy so the number on the buckets for them were number seven so that's just a little bit shy of seven gallons, you guys. There were 6.8 gallons um, each bucket. I got five of them, and I spaced them about four feet from each other, from the middle. So when you plant one on the ground, you get around the trunk of the plant and measure from feet from it until the next center of the next plant. And that's how I did it. Now, the property line, if you're looking at this picture, on the left, you can really see where I, where I just cut the lawn on that spot on the left side. And I have them about five feet from the property line. I know that five feet may seem like a lot of space for these plants to be from the property line, but believe me, these girls like to grow. Now, when I put them in the ground, I, I really didn't do a lot of special anything to the ground. I literally just took out the grass and added a little bit of fertilizer. The fertilizer that I use has been this kind. The Spoma products are just the best out there in my, in my very short experience. But I love them, they work for me, and I hope that they do what they say that they do, so. I added a little bit to the ground when I make the holes, I mix the soil around them with it, and there you go. And honestly, since then, I haven't really done much to the soil other than just in the spring. Prune them, give them a little bit of fertilizer, and they're good to go. Before I decided to go with this plant, because I did a lot of research on which plant to use, you know, I had to make sure that they were going to be okay with the wind, with the zone that I was in, and also that, you know, they were gonna go big and they weren't gonna have any problems. You know, a lot of people were like, oh, you're going to use hydrangeas. Oh, they're going to burn in the sun, especially if they're in full sun. My experience with these plants are that they just love the sun. And honestly, I haven't had any problems with any heat or leaves falling or dying because of the heat. I think that, I think that they're just pretty amazing, honestly. I know that there are other types of hydrangeas where if they get a little bit of sun, that's it, they're gone for the year. But not these ones, these are, are really, really hardy. Right in the middle of the summer when they're starting to bloom and they're starting to turn into these white blooms, I like to come and trim sort of the bottom of them to give them a little bit of shape. Um, I know I have seen, and this is just personal preference, I have seen a lot of hydrangea hedges where literally from the ground to the top they are full of blooms. I honestly prefer the look of blooms a little bit on the top 
middle of the plane all the way to the top and you kind of have it clean at the bottom. You can almost say that it's almost like a tree shade, but not quite. I just, I just love that. I cannot say enough about limelights. I leave the blooms all throughout the winter because once they turn brown in the winter, they I feel like they're just such a nice decor for, for this area. And I don't actually prune them until the spring. Um, I come in and cut all the dead blooms and I give a little bit of shape and there we go. These hydrangeas, they don't really take a lot of care, you know, as far as disease or uh, bugs eating them or anything like that, at least not in my area. But I just, I just cannot say enough about them. I hope that you found this video helpful or inspiring or just plain crazy. <laughs> um, if you like it, please make sure to give me a like. I am very new to this uh, channel and I really, really hope to be making more videos in the future. At least, you know, even if nobody's watching, at least I can go back in, in future years and just look back at, you know, how I did things or how things look when they were very new and, um, or look at all the befores and afters and just um, think of that myself. But anyway, that's all. I hope that you have a great day and get out there. Go to your garden.